How you doing? How you doing, man? You good? How you doing, man? You all right? All right. Good, man. Doing good. You know, enjoying the weather, playing good football, you know. Good for now. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yes, <laughs> yes sir. Oh yes sir, man, having a good, energy, having a good time. With my teammates getting better every day. Um, working hard, you know, just you know, having a good time. First to second year, how, how much of a difference has it been for you being out here, being comfortable at what you're trying to? Do? I'm way more comfortable now than how I was last year. More faster, and more, um, more like literally more learning, more faster. So I'm literally getting better every day. So I'm trying to get better more today and get better tomorrow. Um, really, <laughs> I was in I was in Texas. I was training in Texas in the heat, a lot of running, more cardio than anything, and my, a lot of uh, you know work and feet work drills. So it's gonna be 100 tomorrow. You don't care. No, nah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel after two days of practice? Feel good, you know, blessing, blessing to have them on. Feel good. I miss them having them on and feel really good. Yep. <laughs> it feel good, <laughs> you know. It's all when we got mandatory. It's real good, you know. Bed comfortable, good sheets, good. <laughs> yeah, I got my own room. Yes, sir, definitely. Your own room. Yeah, got my own bathroom, kitchen, everything. <laughs> um, no, nah, we we go right to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go right to sleep. Nah, nah, we go right. I go right to sleep now. Nah. <laughs> How much of a grind is it? Huh? How much of a grind is this? Like Ben was saying, you say you go to sleep. How tired are you when you get back to it? Oh, I ain't never tired. It's all about getting a lot of recovery and feeling better how you was, better today and tomorrow. You know, feeling really about taking care of your body and so you can feel way, way more better tomorrow. Never tired? Never tired, no. Around 10 dirty. 10 dirty? Yeah. No, 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 no. Let's do it. 10 dirty. Is it a lot of studying and Yeah, studying, studying, watching film, and um, really sleep. <laughs> Um, really more playing the stretch better, like playing the run a little bit more better than the last year. That's my really one to go right there, playing the run a little bit more. I'm getting way better with the um, run, feet work and everything. That's really like one to go right there. What's your, what's your, what's your mindset when you're, what's your mindset when you're going up against one on one those starts the past few days? How do, you, how do you approach those? How much do you enjoy those? Oh, I enjoy this really well because it get, get, gonna get us better, me better, and get my team better. You know, all about working together and get each other better. Those teammates feeling your pain? Huh? Those teammates. Feel <laughs> well, everybody feeling pain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody. Going up against Cole Strange, what have you seen from him? He's a good player. You know, he's a real good player. He, um, you know, we got love. We still, all, still got lots to work on everybody. But he's a good player. Real good player. Right, so what are some things you worked on this offseason fundamentally? Obviously, you're looking here. You got a feel for playing in the league. But what are some things you focused on this offseason? You take your game to the next level from a fundamental standpoint. Really more than a run. Playing the run a little bit more. That's really why I know one goal right there. You know, that like that. Really the run. And do you? For you, playing in a defense like this that's so multiple, mm -hmm. how important is it for you to be able to play the three techniques, the five techniques, and move around? Uh, it's really about um, having good feet, like playing the nose, the three, the five, the nine, all that. really about having good feet work and have good, because everything is different. You got to literally play your gap different kind of ways, but it's really good, you know? Chris, what kind of conditioning were you doing down in Texas? Conditioning, um, I ran the bike really on the, uh, I ran bike on the hill. Um, I did a lot of uh, curve drills, like running bags. Um, and really more do a lot of suicide too. Is that typically what you do? Yeah, I do. Like, I do my. That's my style. That's what I like to do. You're doing that, going back to Alabama, everything else. Alabama. I went to Alabama for like probably three, two weeks. I did. I did a little like D line training in Alabama. Yeah. Do you feel a difference in the conditioning? Yes, I feel way more better in my conditioning. I feel like I literally increased well. You know, running everywhere, no tire. Just especially in this heat like this, if it got hot, I'm feeling real well. Yep. Where were your goals heading into this offseason? My goals really is to um, get better on the run every time. That's my number one goal. Get, like literally on everywhere I play, I dominate the run. I think, I think you can one on one, honestly. You, you look dominant. Yeah. Do you, I mean, does that I'm talking about like ranking like the tag goals, like, you know, I mean, I mean, double teams and everything like that. Yeah, like that. All this stuff like that. Is that the goal, too? It's like, you know, to collect defensive tackles. And sometimes you think of guys who don't, don't put up big numbers, but, you know, they, they play an important part. Is it, is it important to you to maybe, you know, do more than just stop the run, sort of? Yeah, you know, I do everything the team tell me to do. Everything Coach Dutch wants me to do. I do everything he wants me to do. And so if everything I got to do, pair rush, I do that. If I got to do everything, I do everything I got to do. So it sounds like that was an emphasis from the staff. You know, better run defense, you'll probably see the field more. Huh? I mean, it's really about coaches. I mean, I do what I got to do. <laughs> when was the last time you lined up on somebody and felt like you might be on the bad end of a physical matchup? Say it again. You ever, when was the last time you felt physically overmatched by somebody lining up against you? I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, 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 not really. No, no. I ain't never had that. Well, 
Nobody? Let's take one more guy. Really. <laughs> well, the guy, <laughs> well, the guy that um, really give me a little, little more, sometimes a little trouble. My man Trent, my guy Trent Brown, my OG Trent. He teaches me a lot of things, especially when he come off the ball and double. He really a good player. You know, I learned a lot from him. I want to squeeze one in. Yeah. You know, Vince Wilfork, just a decade ago, he played 75 to 80 percent of the snaps. The game's evolved, and guys don't do that as much. Would you like to get back to being a guy who's almost a three-down interior big man defensive lineman? I'm doing everything the coach wants me to do, man. Coach Belichick, you got to talk to Bill about that. He's doing everything Bill wants me to do, so I'm doing everything he wants to do. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.